What's up everybody? My name is White Dragons and welcome to the show. So let's get started. We are now playing Space Base DF9 and this will be my fifth time recording this because every time I get recording I can't stop and then I should be stopping because I screw it up so desperately bad. Like right now we're in the last time I did it. And I don't even want to show you what happened but I'm gonna show you anyways. This is what happened. I was attacked multiple times we're gonna have to leave it so new base basically very simple is if you look at the top stellar density is how much matter or how much uh, stuff we're gonna be able to mine to build things way gate proximity is basically how many ships pass through threat factor is how many enemies come through and magnetic interference is as it stands right now not really important but it will be later on down the road it basically messes up your uh, radar so, yeah. Anyways, this is the Milky Way. You just have to pick a galaxy. So, let's see. We need... I've got a favorite one somewhere. It's 20... Yeah, that's it. 2035. Alright, so once you pick your galaxy, or your area of the galaxy that you want to point, it's going to give you a random, real quick, age. And you hit accept. This is your last chance to decide whether or not you want to do this or not. Now remember, once you click this, that's it. You can't come back unless you restart your world like I just did. There you go. So this is your seed, basically going to be 2035. So if you want to play along with me, that's 2035. Just look for it on the map and you'll be able to get it. So. All right, so we have the pause button. They're going to give you tips in, in over here. This will become annoying after a while. You can raise and lower the walls. This is the oxygen level. You just click on it and it shows you oxygen. Uh, inspection basically gives you the ability to check out what your people are thinking. And the way you do that simply is by space face. Sorry about that. Space face basically is what their thoughts are. These folks are new to us, so they're just our first time. Okay, and as usual, all three of them start off as enemies, but they'll work together and they'll become better. So we have uh, that, that. So for example, this is their oxygen level, and this is their health. If they're neutrally, so they're not happy, they're not sad, they're just meh. And this location is space, and they're wandering around right now. So uh, to change their duties, so like for example, this person is a technician, a miner, and has security guard and building in it. Right now, we need her to be a builder because we need her to build a, basically a, a room so we don't die. This guy is basically he's a great builder and he's a great miner, so he's going to be pretty hard to figure out which one I want to do. And this guy absolutely just sucks balls because all he's good at is security, but he's going to be a builder today. He may not like it, but that's fine. He'll be okay. All right, so you can hold, you can move your map around by move, using and holding down the right button on your mouse and moving it back and forth. Sorry about that. This is as far as you can go on the map on this side. Up as far as you can go here and down as far as you can go here. But the map pretty much is big so you're gonna have a lot of room to run around in. Keep that in mind. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build ourselves a uh, a box. We need a box. By the way you can pause, play, times two forward times four forward this is your roster this is where you'll be doing most of your change ups that you actually won't be clicking on them individually but you'll be going through here and like say I wanted the tech and I wanted to make him I want to make two miners they would become miners so it's no big deal there done uh, then construction this is where you'll do all your construction you must confirm everything before anything happens so like say for example we want to start with a room Okay, so we're going to start with a single room. We're actually going to make it... Mm, let's go with 4x4. Four four. This is going to be the airlock room. This is kind of the important part that you have to remember. You have to have an airlock room in order to decompress from space. So this is kind of like, just like space, except... kind of... down looking. <laughs> Best way to say it. Anyways. So we're going to just go ahead and build ourselves a nice little room here. And this holds six beds and three mat matter refineries. If you look over to the 
left portion it gives you some stats and eight oxygen recyclers but we're not really interested in making something that big okay and there's a reason for that we don't want something that's going to take up a lot of resources at the beginning of the game if you do that you find yourself in a bit of trouble so this is going to be an airlock however what we want to do is we actually want to make a small hallway probably about that big that's not going to give us any airlock though that's the problem so we could do this and that would give us five oxygen okay but this is a problem because we always I'm always the type that wants to make sure it looks great so we can actually go in and erase that area okay but it's gonna do that we don't really want that so let's say we didn't want this we just cancel comes out all right we hit go back to our, our uh, construction and we go back to rooms and we start it all over again easy as Kai so it's four by four all right and then we want to go actually let's erase that you can erase it of course like that and automatically erases let's make the big room first let's make the big hallway first we don't want a big hallway we want a, just a medium size okay good all right now the next thing we're going to need is an airlock room like that that'll work good now I'm actually going to go ahead and confirm now uh, what you saw over here it gives you the amount that you, of matter you're going to use Let me go ahead and play to get them to start on this matter is what uses to build and then this is your capacity how many people you have how many people you can have the tips area and of course we already explained that this is the mining area mining options so if you could mine matter or these asteroids for matter you can erase the same way cancel and confirm as always beacons are basically used for security reasons so let's say someone uh, approaches our our station and wants to take us over well we can easily place a beacon inside the area and they would the person who's assigned as security would come in and fight them but we don't want to do that right now we just want them to build we're actually going to speed this up a little bit Remember, they only have, in the beginning of the game, they only have eight minutes of oxygen. Use your mouse to wheel up and down. This is, of course, like I said, you're going to be, you're going to have these tool tips and they're going to get irritating as hell after a while. So, just be fair warned. See, this is what the walls look like up, and this is what walls look like when they're down. This is their oxygen level. As you can see, there's no oxygen. Uh, their skills will build up as they go along. See? You just right click on or left click on the icon, it'll go away on you. So we're almost done. Now we're gonna pause this real quick so I can explain how to uh, how to figure out how to make the folks here know what's what. So this says unzoned area. So if we left click and select, we can make it into the airlock area because, like I said before, you have to decompress in order to go into a into a room with oxygen. So this is our life support room. This is where all our oxygen tanks or oxygen recyclers are going to be at. So let's continue on. And you can do this while while playing as well. Now construction goes into pause mode. So do keep that in mind. So if you can't get over here in time, you can easily go to construction and it'll freeze in, in place. Now while that's going on, let's go ahead and go into objects. First, let's go back. So you have rooms, walls, floors, objects, demolish, and erase. Erase, of course, is if it's if it's yellow or red. Demolish basically demolishes if it's finished. You can go into objects. All zones basically gives you a fire hydrant, a monitor, and a plant for now. Uh, airlock. This is what they use to switch into their. Uh, their suits here so we need to have one of them um, you have life support systems which is what we use here one two three and four so we're gonna have four now if you look right here this tells us you the total amount of matter that's going to be used so 400 matter is going to be used which is fine these guys are actually inside so they can actually start building while they're inside 
See, so, okay, again, your base has no oxygen, blah, 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 blah. So, what we want to do now is go to objects, and we want to go to doors. Now, we want airlock doors, number one. So, we'll put an airlock door here, and uh, let's cancel that. Let's construct again objects, doors, airlock. Because, again, you need an airlock in order to get out and in of space. That's the best way to say it. Actually, we can make two. We can make more than one here, because we have that much room construction. Let's see. We're gonna go to objects and doors again. Okay, but we have a way of making this happen. Let's see. We put door here. Door here. Can we put a door right there? That's the question. No, we cannot. Okay. So if we can't put a door, well, we want to leave this. We want to leave this open. So yeah, that's be fine. All right. So now, what they'll do is, is now we have oxygen flowing in. So if you hit the O button or you hit here, you can see that the oxygen is building up inside the room. Your citizens can get in and out of the base without a functioning airlock. Okay, that's what we just talked about. This is what they're building now as an airlock. So oxygen will flow in rooms with regular doors but not with rooms with locked door with air airlock doors so do keep that in mind I don't like using that because it kinda gets in the way of being able to see anything now once this reaches a hundred percent they'll actually take off their suits and you can actually see them which is kinda cool and kinda not so there you go for example this guy has reached a hundred percent so he could easily come out these guys will come out very shortly as soon as they realize that they can now they'll do random things. Again, you can't control exactly what they do. That was a video in the background. Sorry about that. You can't control exactly what they do, but what you can do is you can give them the orders and wait for them to do it. That's the best way to say it. So we're actually going to... Um, I don't want to do this right now, but... We may have no choice. Um, let's go ahead and build another room here. And I need to, I need to get a refinery in place. But actually, I want two refineries because one refinery will basically get eaten up very quickly. So I'm not really worried about the bed spaces as I am the refinery space. So this says I can put two matter refineries in. Great, wonderful. But I also want to do something else. I'm also going to add an additional room here. And you'll understand why shortly. So we're going to go ahead and get that confirmed. And these guys will basically uh, get back into their building gear and go back out here and start working. Now you have a, there's a set limit time so far that I've seen that these things will uh, start breaking down on you. As you see they deteriorate over time. So the faster you get up your refinery, the quicker you can basically get starting to mining. So for example, you are low on matter. So, but that's fine because I have four of these going and it's exactly what I wanted because this will fill it with the oxygen and I can basically use this as a refinery room because I have to have a, basically have a miner. So, actually, let me stop that pause because I need I think I need 200 to get a refinery. Yeah, I need 200 of that. So, with that being said, we may have to cancel this. So let's see, we go to my construction, uh, erase. How much will that save me if I take this off? I get 142 back, which I don't think is gonna be enough. And I don't think I get this back neither. Once I delete, once I demolish it. No. Confirm. So I got back 166. But the problem is, is I still need some more. So what do you do? Well, we're going to have to shrink down our refinery room again. So what that means is, is basically we'll have to probably wipe this out for the time being. And then re-room it so that that way the refinery can go in and that gives me one refinery right there 
and that's 48 right there so we'll just have to go with that confirm and we also want to erase but well, we don't want to erase this we want to wait till it's built that's the important part so all right these guys will basically start tearing apart the stuff that we were doing and we've already gotten back our man our our uh, matter back so we're going to speed things up a little bit make them work a little faster And as you can see, we got some spots still of flooring we want to take out, just to keep the dam you know keep keep the uh, keep the place cleaned up as much as possible. No resource goes untouched here. Now that they've got the floor built, I'm not too much worried about the f the walls. But as you can see, the floor is missing. We can replace that very quickly. See? There you go. And they'll build the floor. Now, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and turn this into a refinery area. But we want to wait until they are completely got everything completely built. Because if you don't, they basically will start losing oxygen. Remember, you are in outer space. Alright, so here's an example of a friendly one. Uh, this is a bug for now. You won't see the actual uh, alien character until later on. Remember, this is alpha, so we're still in a lot of running stages. Uh, you can't do anything until you either accept or decline. Uh, I can tell you from from prior example that this is a a uh, a non dan it's it's not a dangerous uh, message, and you would want to accept them. And then randomly, people will come with spaceships, which I don't know what the hell happens here. The spaceship, what, drops them off, shits them out or something? I don't know. So, for example, we can see that this guy uh, is uh, very Charlie mildly generous, generosity, brave, and uh, neat. His duties, he's a tech. We're automatically going to make him a tech. He's got a 3-4 tech, so that's fine. That's what we want. We want 3-4 tech. Now, as you can see, this is done, and the room has 99% oxygen. Now, what I like to do is I actually like to go in and demolish... But if you demolish this area, it doesn't. Be, it becomes a life support area. So what you want to do is you want to go into objects, go into doors, and then open, have a door here. You can have one or two. I like having two. It just makes me feel more comfortable. Now your builders will automatically start building, but remember, there's sometimes they may not. They may actually just say, screw you, I'm not going to do it. And then you'll have to figure out why and what to do after that. So we want to go after a refinery. A refinery is the only th substance, or only thing that can actually f make the um, this stuff, the asteroid, uh, usable to into matter. So now we need a miner. This is where the roster comes into play. So we've got builders. We'll move the two builders into miners, just for the time being. That way they can get through it faster. And we go into mining. Mine. And then we want them to mine basically as much as they possibly can. Unfortunately, we weren't able to build a second airlock. So this is going to be a problem later on down the road when you have multiple things going on. Like security guards and things like that. Which is fine. We'll get that worked out in a second. Like I said before, you're going to be running into a lot of I hate these, hi these hints. But they do come out and play later on when you don't have to worry so much. The sprite effects are somewhat tangible right now. But this guy's going to go out and basically he's going to start his mining. Like I said before, a lot of times they don't want to go out and mine in the beginning. They'll just basically hang around and chit chat. Which is really boring and really stupid. And I hate them for that. But this is the only way to get matter. And this tech, he, I need him. I'm bored, I guess I'll just go wandering around. But he's happy. Now, let me make this clear. Throughout the game, you're going to have to figure out what these guys are good at. So like this guy here, for example. I just spent five hours playing fist cups. Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, getting super bored here. I wish I had some time to play, blah, blah, blah. So obviously, he's bored, right? He was bored. So we go into it, and we see he's a builder. He's also a security guard. Nine times out of ten, he's going to want to be a security guard. But he can't be one right now, because I really don't need one. What I need is miners and builders. Just get me our guild and on reserving judgment, that's all. Or just met, sorry. So you'll have people that they dislike and, and hate and like. 
So our builder here is kind of sitting here waiting. He's like, you know, guys, hurry up, please. I'm getting kind of bored. So what we can do now is we can actually build our second room. And our second room is going to be pretty simple. It's just going to be another airlock room. I know that sounds bad, but it's the truth. We just need another airlock room. A short one at that. That should do. Now remember, our builder doesn't always come out at first. Like for example, this ass is deciding that she's not going to be a miner. I haven't been this happy and blah 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 blah. But apparently she likes it. Mining is pretty boring, but I like being out in space. But yet she's not doing anything. This is a, I think this is one of those bugs that needs to be worked on. If you take a look and you also notice that the oxygen level is at 98%. Remember, how many ever people are in room, you're going to be going into the oxygen level. Well, this level is zero. This level is basically 77%. This, this is 77%. Good, good, and good. Once it reaches about 50%, he starts working on them. The problem is, is the Joker doesn't work on them fast enough sometimes. So you need another tech. But you can't do that because you're trying to have a builder build another area. And you need the material in order to make the item. So at this point in the stage, it's much more easier just to go ahead and say when it reaches 20% to actually destroy it. That's why I always carry four air recyclers on me, or oxygen recyclers in, on the game in the beginning. So that way I can basically keep it up, because my tech is not going to be able to keep everything up. Now also later on, you'll also want to put two refineries in to give yourself a little balance. So like here, for example, his, his uh, builder skills just went up, which is good. We really need that. Now hopefully, you get these two guys to run simultaneously together. Try not to change your miners too much, because they drop the ore that they're using, or the matter that they're collecting for you. So keep that in mind. So as you can see, this guy is just pretty much wandering around. Maybe because these have not reached the 50% critical mass area. These guys basically, when I have nothing else to do, sometimes I like to just go out for a stroll in base. And what's his thoughts? Gotta keep moving, don't wanna get fat. Alright, don't we all? Alright, let's designate this area as another uh, airlock and have our guy, before he goes back inside, go ahead and create another airlock uh, area for us. We will need to confirm that, and then of course we do need to go in, back into objects, go into doors, and go into airlock doors. And there we go. And then we confirm. Now, that's going to use a little bit, but now we have it. The miners will have direct access to the refinery. That's the important thing. Always remember, the quicker you can get your refinery up and going, the quicker you're off. Now, we can also... Oh, no, I'm going to go back. We want to do another room, because we have the resources now. That's the biggest thing, is having the resources to do these things. So... Uh, like I said, I want to run another. Confirm. I want to run another matter refinery. That way, we don't have, stay way heavy on both of them. Now the builder will probably most likely have to wait until. Nope, oh, nope. He's able to go back out. All right, awesome. Now when they turn pink or purple, uh, can we come aboard your base now? Um. I don't like this for some reason. He does, there's nothing never said completely. We're not killbots, we promise. Too late. Uh, do keep that in mind that you can have people board your area and shoot your people right off the bat, or you can have people basically to come in and say they're just going to kill you. But you can also have people like we had the new guy come in and help us out. Refinery. So now everything here will become a refinery. And again, we want to keep this wall here until later on. I don't know why this guy wants to work out, but whatever. So these guys are still mining. We're still keeping our matter. And our tech is still 78%. It's not kind of good, but not kind of bad at the same time. He's got our oxygen recyclers at 83%, 80, 79. So they're just staying pretty legit. Once our builder gets done here, We'll be able to uh, have another refinery, and the the uh, the miners will actually their AI will actually say, "Let's go this way," 
instead of going, let's go up here. Your citizen's sleeping on the floor. Now, later on, you'll need to make beds. Right now, we really don't have the material or the time to do that. So, we're just going to go ahead and get our mining and getting everything started up as quickly as possible. We're going to speed it up a little bit, get everything going. <laughs> 